Across from the U.S. Capitol is the Library of Congress. Thousands of citizens and visitors to Washington, D.C. use the library's vast resources every day. In addition to its millions of books and papers, there are more than 5 million maps, 75,000 atlases, and over 500 globes here. A celebration at the library marked the arrival of what is being called the crown jewel of the vast collection. It is a large world map made 500 years ago. Cartographer John Hessler explains the significance of the Martin Waldsenmuller 1507 world map. It's called America's Birth Certificate um, and it, for a number of reasons, but mostly because um, it's the first time America appears on a map. It is printed here on this southern landmass in the lower left. For scholars, the map raises profound questions. The map shows for the first time the continent of South America separated from Asia, and it shows the Pacific Ocean. Um, what's important about that and what's mysterious about it and what makes scholars excited about the map and constantly questioning what the map is about is that's before the Pacific Ocean was discovered. In an accompanying guide, the 1507 map maker is credited with naming the continents. He did name America, America. It appears first in the little book, which was printed um, 500 years ago today, in fact, May, May 2nd. Um, the map was probably printed around that same period. Um, and in that book, he gives us his reasons for naming America, and he names it after Amerigo Vespucci, um, the discoverer of, of South America. Originally, more than 1,000 copies of the map were made from 12 wood blocks. But the Waltzy Mueller map here is the only one known to exist. Remarkably, it is complete and in pristine condition. Waltzy Mueller's map of the world goes on permanent display later this year. Paul Sisko, VOA News, Washington.